have Dr. Pierre Luigi Latuada with, uh, with us again on this occasion. And this occasion is, is that he made this movie together with the director of the movie. Um, he's here and they won a prize. They won a prize at a festival here in LA. Uh, I think it's called the Awareness Festival. Yeah, right. Congratulations. Wow. Yeah, so, you know, like, first of all, mm -hmm. like, a round of applause for that. Um, and this movie is called Out of the Cave. And Dr. Pierre Louis Latoire, like, I think most of you know, is the president of Eurotas, which is a European Transpersonal Association. Um, and really the conversation is here about the movie, his work. He's very famous. He's done a lot. And we were actually discussing how many titles he has because, you know, like a doctor, you have a PhD, just a normal one. Yeah, then you have a, funny. yeah. Then society, well. and then he's a medical doctor, yeah. right? Mm. So a collection of titles. Yeah, it's a <laughs> collection of titles. But this really means, from a transpersonal perspective, that he is able to dance on all levels. Yes, mm. and I think this is very, very important. Also, from all the discussions we've been having, uh, how does one level affect the other level and then back? And so he's an expert, and then he has also developed his own methodology. What, what is the name of it you want to say? Biotransenergetics. Biotransenergetics. Mm -hmm. And it is about moving between the different mm -hmm. levels mm -hmm. and how to integrate and how to heal. And he also has his own center and institute in Milan where People can go and study his methodologies. It's accredited uh, in your. And so we are welcoming him here to speak to us, um, share his wisdom. And this time, we can start just by talking about the movie. Like, why a movie? Thank you. Sophia is in my heart since the uh, 90s or before. And uh, now, knowing this new trend of Sophia with these fantastic women here in uh, leading uh, Sophia, I am very happy, more than happy to be here and share something with you. So thanks a lot. This, I, I will tell you a story. The story of this, of this movie, because you said I'm deep, deep, but if I have to, I don't, I don't feel myself doctor or PhD or if I have to define myself, I would say that I feel myself more as a poet mm -hmm. or as artist. My transcendence is a creation that came to me. And this movie, also came the, 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 we met each other a few days before the last uh, Eurocast conference in Tuscany. We organized the, that conference. And uh, we met because uh, they invited me to a festival, a their festival. And then I decided to invite him to uh, say, say, say the name of the festival. Because the universe guides us. Uh -huh. <laughs> Almost uh, one month before Gerota, I was invited to take part of the Festival della Consapevolezza, Awareness Festival. Oh, awareness, really? Yeah. No. Oh, we, we've, been, we've been running a, a festival in Padua, Italy. Uh -huh. Festival for three della years. Consapevolezza. And the name we choose is uh, the Awareness Festival. And we are here in Los Angeles at the Awareness Film Festival. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's amazing. So the universe. Yeah. Did, did they copy your name? <laughs> <laughs> no, probably we copied them. <laughs> <laughs> this to say that was a river flowing 
since that meeting we had that. We, had, we organized the conference, the Eurotrust conference last year, and was uh, the bigger conference ever, Eurotrust ever did with 450 people in a nice place close to the sea. I will ne never organize something in a nice place because people go to the sea <laughs> and come to the conference. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I contacted him to record the conference. Then he started to say, ah, why we don't do some interview? Tell me the, the most, you know, the, the best person, the most important person, and I will do some interview. So he started doing this interview. Then he said, but we should uh, connect this interview with a story. Since the title of the conference was out of the cave, oh. I tell the story. He, he asked me, come uh, tell the story. And so I told the story of the out of the cave. At that moment, we had the story of the cave and the conference and the, and the interviews. But we said, there is something missing there because these people that spoke about their own experience were so powerful that we, we, we wanted to create something more complete. And so we had this idea to add a hero journey. And uh, since we have no money, I did the uh, actor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did Great. the journey. You did the journey. Yeah. We met uh, in, uh, I live in a very nice place in Switzerland, surrounded by mountain, by woods, uh, by rivers and so. So we, we had been in these places and I did the era journey, connecting the several phases of the era journey with symbolic uh, practices. Uh, so there is, we would say there are a, a analogic aspect, that digital aspect and archetypal aspect. Analogic is the story that I tell about uh, <laughs> the out of the cave story. The interviews are the digital part where they enter in different, it is an incredible world because he interviewed the people and then he passed, passed and, uh, and, uh, and pasted and paste and paste the difference world into the seven phases of the era journey it was an incredible work. So I say digital because it put. Okay, so let, let me. It so fit the interviews. The, the interviews in the seven the, phases yes, of, of the era of journey. The, of the hero's journey or inner journey. And he create this interaction. Uh -huh. I tell him the story, the interview it, and me walking uh, and chanting and doing drumming and doing the practices in the several phases okay. of the inner journey, starting from the Mother Earth to the wood, to the river, to the Tibetan bridge, passing the, the Tibetan bridge to the, to the air, and then the, the force of the metal, then the force of the, the, the rocks, to end the vision of the sun, to end in the top of the mountain, celebrating the vision of the sun, means the completion of the journey. So this is was the, the structure of the, of the movie. But we realize, I guess, mm -hmm. doing this, that there are much more that we wanted to do. And what happens was that uh, he sent to the Awareness Film Festival here in uh, 
Zandia was accepted. And then in the end of the October, we will go also in the El Guna, which is a new town in Egypt. There is another big festival there. We go there also. So it seems that this movie is flowing. The doors are opening. So now it's almost like we have to make a movie about the movie, <laughs> right? Because this is like the the start of the journey in this awareness festival, then coming through, experiencing it, coming out, then ending up at the festival here with an awareness one. And now you're going further out towards the sun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But oh, the gold is that this beautiful in, in these several levels, there is also a good service for some person because they interview yes. with are people that speak about their own experience, are people that you know, Glenn Artilius, uh, Steve Taylor, uh, Les Lancaster, uh, uh, Sash Betty Tom Barrett, uh, Peter Rodriguez, people that uh, has lived their life into transpersonal. Right. So for all of you, you, you're familiar with these people. Is there anybody that it doesn't, you know, Les Lancaster, right? Like, actually, for you, that would be very, very interesting because he speaks a lot about um, how the Kabbalah and neuroscience combine, right? Um, so and, and where is the integration phase in much of a way that Pierre Luigi addresses like these different levels. I would say Les Lancaster then specializes in that integration from those particular viewpoints. Um, then you know Glenn Hartelius, yeah. right? Uh, then who else did you say was there? Steve Taylor. Steve Taylor. If you don't know him, look him up. He's uh, in English. Uh, a uh, UK uh, researcher, um, teacher who bestseller writer, a bestseller writer who has done transpersonal, who's who is actually also the head of the transpersonal uh, psychological British Association. And so also very well known, just in the UK, amazing person as well. So all these luminaries, really, like you really went all out. Beside the incredible work uh, Christian did, but he get the importance of this. While he was doing the interview, maybe you can tell about it. When he started interviewing the people, he said that this is, we are the champion of transpersonal. These people are, are telling something very deep, and very felt. They are not just theorizing something, but they are expressing their own life in the Yes. This was one of the reasons that maybe you can say something. No, I, I think this is this is why the film uh, at the moment works. Because uh, when you film something that someone else feels, it's much easier to to arrive to, to, to share to the people and arrive to to, to the others. Uh, because I made uh, lots of uh, documentary concert uh, uh, in Italy, but it, it, it's a different feeling. Yes. Do you want to maybe so we can look you up? You know, your Fortin director. So, what is your full name? <coughs> My full name? Yes, your full Christian Gandini. Christian Gandini. Christian Gandini. Yeah. Beautiful name. Yeah. Sounds like. Thank you. Yeah. My so, quick question is, did you get the future Oscar winner? Yes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and, and the Oscar goes too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> say, it's a fun. Dr. Zoo is also here with us, mm -hmm. uh, head of PhD. China for Sophia University. And he has a, he's a scholar in the field of transpersonal as well, with much, much experience and insights, bringing traditions from all over the world together, and um, also specializing in 
Chinese philosophy and different aspects, I like Chinese Buddhism. So I want to add that before he goes on and asks you a question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, well, I, my question was, uh, did you interview these guys or these guys uh, right after the conference last year or much later, you had to interview them online, like through uh, Zoom? No, no. Did you we did in all, person? Yeah, all yeah. In person. All in person. But this, during but during the, the but during the conference. During the conference. Oh, okay. yeah. I was at the conference uh, with that Pierre Luigi organized. I think it was indeed uh, maybe the greatest. I because I haven't attended a lot, but I knew it was last year was larger than this year at Oxford. I already made a comparison and set out a kind of a. Uh, overview uh, to my students, to my audience in China, in Chinese. I said I attended uh, the 23rd conference in Italy, Tuscany, and now I'm at, at, now I'm at Oxford uh, for the 24th conference. I made a little comparison, contrast to share with my audience in China, in Chinese. So thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, it was interesting, uh, very. Did you say you're not going to organize it again in a resort because they are going to the sea? Mm, I'm joking, but yeah. yes, because people go to the sea. It was so nice place. Yeah. Right? I think that's what happened tonight. A lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In Oxford, people stay dead because there was nothing to do. <laughs> Except go to the pub. <laughs> but, you know, when I come back like the, to this to this experience of of a journey of a past, right? So it's all within, right? So like Dr. Zhu was pointing out, it was also there. There is an experience of a path as as you're walking in, and you were filming these different aspects of paths coming together. Did were you able to to do that? That somewhere these paths needs because they they came from one place right this is perfect you said this came from some place the place from it comes is a place that you can name because it's before before i spoke about archetypes before but i guess that most of us misunderstood archetypes. For example, when we speak uh, about uh, the warrior, uh, the great mother, and so we think that they are the archetypes, but these are archetypal images, because the archetype is the form behind them. You can see the archetype. Yeah. The archetype is the field that's laid beyond and behind. This is also the reason why, to me, this movie, there is something. What is working is that behind. Yes. Is that the field creates the form, the form, the manifestation of the form. This was something that we tried to pass into the movie. The magic of the movie is that the by choosing these, uh, if 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 you if some of you tomorrow goes to the LA Los Angeles in uh, all the Asian name life uh, LA live in uh, Olympic Boulevard tomorrow in downtown, LA. in downtown LA you see that uh, there are the se these seven steps uh, are. Uh, indicated by the, the symbols of uh, Orishas that forms uh, in archetypal images of uh, the forces of nature. But they want to indicate five levels of transformation of the field. To me, this is the reason why it could be interesting the movie and the transpersonal. If I would define transpersonal, I would say two things. First, transpersonal start 
30 seconds uh, after the stay in silence with closed eyes. And then when you get the archetype, here yeah, there is no personal. Beyond the personal, there are the archetypes of oh, the archetypal images. Beyond the archetypal Im images, there are the field. When you get the field, you are into the transpersonal field and transformation happens for magic. This is what we try to express without knowing. This is a super conscious as like a, as a yeah. uh, as Ajori say. We didn't know, but this happened because it was the archetype working. And the archetype works when you connect with, when you do the right thing. Again, the method, the transpersonal methodology is create the condition to get in contact with the archetype. We would say the self, the self is the archetype of archetype, the archetype of unity. Yes, the contact with the self, and the self works, but the self works with several lines, several vibrations, several forces of nature several fields get in contact and let the force work this was the the behind of the movie is oh okay you are listening to the story you are listening to the interview you are watching uh, this guy walking uh, up and down the mountain but behind all of this there is the archetype the iron archetype works. This is to me is the magic of that movie, which he was so able and smart to create, to put together through a alchemy because he worked one year for this movie, putting together any minimal work. So that does some. It was, it was an alchemy also. It's alchemy, but it's also experimentation. Right? Yeah, more or less. Yeah. So, so this idea of bringing in that space, that transformative space, without necessarily analyzing or, or I don't know, maybe speaking to it. Totally directly. So we're also welcoming Dr. Marilyn Schletzer, who is a researcher uh, in so many areas, always fascinated by things that she encounters, asking all the questions and digging really deep. So you have done this type of thing as well. So she made a movie, right? The Death Makes Life Possible movie which is a little bit different. So you're looking at these archetypes through the image of a journey. And I think, Marilyn, you were looking at what is the conversation around death, which is a transformative space, and then coming back out of that with different people and analyzing it. So do you feel that you were diving deeper into that space as well, when when you were doing the movie, just like here, Luigi was alluding to. So I resonated with several things. One, look at these shoes. I mean, <laughs> this is transformative. <laughs> Love it. You, <laughs> you have them in awe in LA. Um, so my film I was making with Deepak Chopra, and he was going to be the storyteller, right? And trying to nail Deepak down for. 20 minutes, you know, I mean, I fortunately got bits and pieces and he's all the way through it, but it needed a storyteller. And so I, you know, sort of begrudgingly became that. And so it became more my story, which I didn't really want to have happen. But, um, and I spent longer than a year, I'll tell you. And we raised a, a, quite a bit of money for it. I mean, it was Deepak's idea to do the movie. And he's like, Marilyn, let's make a movie. And I was like, great, who wouldn't want to make a movie with Deepak, right? Next morning I woke up and I'm like, no way. Oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> no, I have to, it's gonna cost a lot of money. It's gonna take a lot of time. I was president at IONS at that point in time. And it was just like, I had my plate torn. 
anyway, I went to lunch and I told him, and he's like, oh, Marilyn, stop worrying about the money. It will come. And I would like to say it happened like that. It didn't. But we did raise quite a bit of money and we I felt good about the production values of it. Um, but it does have the archetype. It has the 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 story of people's different cosmologies, really, and, and that that deep truth about our own inevitability, you know, and our own mortality. So so yeah, it was deep. It was deep listening to these people telling their tales. It was it was deep trusting enough that it could manifest. And I would love to talk to both of you about my new book called Love Study, <laughs> which is also ripe to be translated into a film or a television series. And it also, she she goes to the library of the institute where she's working. She's kind of the star character in the book. And she picks up Jung's The Red Book. <laughs> you know, he's the guardian of the red book for us here. Um, anyway, so it kind of she opens it several times, including at the end of the book where you know everybody goes into COVID and she has to check the book out. But anyway, it was really fun, super creative. We went all over the world, so I think you guys are just at the beginnings of your journey and uh, literally traveled all across the world. I didn't go to Africa. That's probably the only place we didn't, but we were everywhere else. And so much, you know, beauty and we created some educational programs around it so that people could have these conversations around death and death anxiety and other worldliness. Like, is there something else after we die? Anyway, I'm delighted. I'm sorry I can't be there tomorrow because I saw it came out through. Did we post it? Yes, we did. We posted it for everyone to, to see, like, if they, you know, want to go um, and, and and experience the movie. I, I want to go back on, I, so it's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. And, and, and this process, and again, like, this inner transformation or this transformation that, that happens when you work with this material. Um, so as a director, do you feel it transformed you? Absolutely. The, the, the film was he, uh, healing for me. But the first person to be transformed is again, myself. It's absolutely. Nine months in contact with this uh, world, I'd say this person, these characters, transformed myself. Mm. Not completely, obviously, because it's a path, it's a journey, as we say in the film. But uh, the, the first person to be transformed was. So this is beautiful. So it's like it's really going in. and and yes, if I say, I think this the reason <laughs> why the film has been chosen by. The Awareness Festival, the festival in Egypt, and maybe we hope in other festivals. So when you feel something deep, oh, and, and, exactly. Okay. It resonates, this depth. Yeah. It resonates and changes. Hmm. So if you could get your hands on, and I'm sure it's in our library, my film, it has, you know, the, what are the logos are for all the film festivals yeah. that we entered and won awards for, you might want to take a look at that because mm -hmm. like there was one that was, and they're still doing it. It's a transformation film festival out of, um, out of New Mexico. Uh -huh. um, and again, like I said, we were all over, but if you got a little sense of where those festivals are, uh -huh. you could apply to them as well. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Great idea. So it's like, there is, so this is the next, right? It's like there is a road here. It's like a global road because you are you're going you are going global. Do you think this movie would have resonance too, Doctor Zhu in China? We're which like one? which one? In the hit what? Which one? Yes, I did. Well, unfortunately, I did. Doctor Latuada's uh, out of the cave. I know. Yeah, maybe you didn't see it, but from just from you know the stories, do you think that that? Uh, would find resonance there as well. Well, if he included me, it would be better. That's why he can't stay watching. It would be more popular, probably. But I, I look at it that I didn't see it. I was as as I was at Oxford, 
for the 24th conference and it was viewed twice, right? Yeah. It was, um, it, I one time I was having a tour on like, uh, Oxford campus led by Oxford graduate poet. I don't know where second time I missed it again. I'm sorry about that here. Uh, Do we want a private screening here, please? <laughs> I asked him. I asked him whether it's possible. I'm the he is the. He is a director, a, so we have to. to. I guess it's one hour, right? Yeah. Six eight minutes. So maybe I, we should have an online screening. I would be Ooh. very happy to watch it if there's another time here. I definitely. A global uh, online so, screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would also suggest that because this is your daily way, that you could insert yourself not so much in the film since that's wrapped, but as the sort of package. Yeah, like you could give a lecture and show how it it supports you know your educational pedagogy, and I think that you know there's a lot to be done to ripple this stuff out in ways beyond a film, and you would bring your stature to that. So, Are you talking about me? You. Yes. Well, uh, I, I would definitely, you know, include it. Uh, uh, I think, you know, the can it's definitely worth watching. Uh, I haven't watched it. Uh, but we can have, have it translated into Chinese with subtitles uh, to for the students to watch at certain time. I'm teaching several courses. Yeah. Now 110. PhD students, 110 peer. It's it's not a small number. It's much bigger than the master program, and we have maybe maybe 300 uh, master students in the Chinese program. Uh, so we would be happy to. I I at least for my program, I would be happy to to introduce it to Chinese students uh, once it's a you know uh, translated. With subtitle, with subtitles at least. Yeah. But seriously, Pierre, if you want to go global, you need to include Asians as yeah. well. And I, 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 in Oxford, they are doing worse than what you did. There's no Asian main speaker, keynote speakers. At least I was one of the keynote speakers in your program. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, Les Lancaster was much more British. Yeah. Um, very British, you know, so it can be very global. I understand she has all those people lined up. Uh, but seriously, if you're going global, international, transpersonal psychology has so much from the ancient traditions, yeah. so much from all those founders. Maslow was citing so much from Taoism. And you see all those, now I, I'm not seeing so much. Uh, maybe they are thinking, oh, this is a particular tradition, Asian, Chinese tradition, Indian tradition. We don't want to have particular uh, tradition. We want to have a general uh, transpersonal theory. Uh, so we feel like we are pissed off, I think. Uh, yes, I think you know, to, uh, two days ago, the Indian guy, Kundun, yeah. he was speaking, he was complaining something similar, similar, but of course he was he was aiming at the British scholar James Mill, right? What's his name? Yes, or James. The Williams. historian, or uh, he was, according to Pundin, that, that guy was simply mis misinterpreting the Indian tradition, so he was, uh, he was uh, misleading but, Westerners about Indian tradition. Right, right, and how we internalize. Yeah. So, so I mean, it's, a, it's an interesting point, right? And I think, I think the way I, I witness, you know, here Luigi and his being on trying to like bring something across is just the diving deeper. But now we have like a wider conversation, right? It's like, yes, you have a big goal here about diving deeper. And to Marilyn's point, you know, it might be very good to bring in like different global conversations around it and just making it part of the tool so you can expand the conversation because then you're inviting people to dive deeper yes that's yeah. what i'm i'm understanding from well, your intention with the movie yes and when i speak about archetype i speak about something that is beyond the time and beyond the, beyond the culture so this is the universal language yeah 
But if we get that prepared, we can. <coughs> then in in that field, you can put the, the Chinese culture. We can put the, the Italian culture or the American culture as images that come from the archetype. But the archetype are universal, and we understand Mother Earth is universal. The Tao is right. also universal. The Tao is universal too. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And then like we're like yeah. we come right yeah. into that space, right? But it's like, but it is as soon as we start naming it, it becomes problematic. It's unless easy. unless we understand that there are two levels. So wait, you the need, best thing need. is we st sit here, we silent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, to me, that make the two one. You you spoke about the Tao, of course. The Tao is one of the the most important archetype, but the Tao is making the two ones. Yes. Is the Zen also, and there are several traditions that the, 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 the alchemy say making the two ones. Mm. So if we go, the archetype is making the two ones. Into the complementary is more than two, is the two more something. The Tao is is not two, no. it's three. No, no it's one. The one is one. The three, the three become one, the three, black, white, together become the Tao, which is three, which is one. This is archetype, <laughs> universal archetype. So you should invite no, no, no. him to one of your film shows so, and I, you could bring up how these different, you know, Buddhism, Hinduism, Taoism, you could, you could be a weaver. You know, because once you've made a movie, it's hard to remake that movie. You have to make a new movie. <laughs> and I found the same thing about, you know, when you have limited budget and you have limited capacity to reach out into the world, you know, to get all the experts from those different world traditions, I would have loved to have been able to do that. As it turns out, I only had one and he was a Qigong master in the film. And I had to go out of my way to try and get that because I realized what you were saying is right. You know? Yeah, it, it, it's it's difficult. And, you know, and, and part of this conversation was like, let's dig a little bit into global. I want to open it up to questions. Speaking let about... One, let me say one more thing. One uh, more thing. You just, uh, Pierre was trying to explain, you know, that the style or three or one or two, then target type is one. But this is, again, we, we discussed very intensely a couple of days ago when Quentin, me, Marilyn, and uh, also maybe Harris Friedman. It's all about hermeneutics here. Yes. It's all about yes. interpretations. There's not much convincing, you know. It's better to have these people speak, you know, differently. Let them speak. And there's no way, there's no prioritized interpretation. And we better have different representations in different backgrounds. It can speak. I can I can debate with you, but I'm not sure I choose not to, you know. Yeah. Whether DAO is one or two or three or finally, or whether archetype is more representative of the global uh, you know culture, they're all arguable. I think they're all arguable, they're all debatable because we're all constructing our own view from a particular standpoint. And they're also knowledge knowledgeable. Uh, we can each and every perspective is valid. Uh, each and every interpretation is valid, but from a different angle, from a different, uh, you know, standing point. Yeah, you are you are entering in epistemology. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. And I don't think that this is the, the place to be because no. in my because in my vision, hermeneutics is just interpretation, but there is something behind and before the hermeneutics, which is the archetype. The archetype is not interpreted. The archetype, right. The, the archetype is, is universal. Is. Then each of us interprets yes. the archetype in some way, but the, the interpretation is not the archetype. Then what in my you, vision. What okay, 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 okay. Yes, because it is. Uh, that's why I wanted is, to see. Can I close this conversation? Yeah, yeah. No, not the conversation. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that 18 interviewees become one. Mm. Right. 
So yeah, yeah. that's right. This is the question. Well, is this it is the answer? Okay. So, but you know, in that, yeah, the same way, like where Marilyn's theme was, like you know, death and does that whole conversation, then come back to that, and then your, um, in your movie, the whole conversation comes down to what is a journey, what is a path. And, and, and fundamentally leaning into that. So yes, does anybody have any questions from you know here? Because this is your moment. I feel or like Tammy. Tammy, festival Tammy I might. felt I, I felt like you had a question. I I love the um, the discourse and and it's been really a big part of our seminar this this week is everybody talking about what is transpersonal and what does it mean and what are the perspectives and differences and similarities. So I'm loving seeing that continue to play out here in the relationship. Um, but it's like a, this is just a simple logistical question of like, how long is the movie? I would just like to know, like, where is it going to be showing? How long is it? Okay, you know, like, does it, uh, right, when is it? When is it starting? Like, just just some, you, get basic, it on Amazon, you know, just some basics. I want to get it on Amazon. Yeah. Not at the moment. The, the film is uh, is long. It's uh, sixty eight minutes long, mm -hmm. and uh, at the moment uh, we want to send it to festivals. Okay. Uh, maybe in six months could be you know, posted online. Amazon and then we'll we have see. Like and what happens tomorrow? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's it's going to be screened at eight thirty. I just need some context of where is the film now? What like now? We tomorrow will be. I see. This is their debut so, with okay. us. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't clear that, right? on, on all that. Eight thirty p.m. Eight thirty p.m. Eight thirty p.m. at the LA LA Live in uh, Olympic uh, Olympic Boulevard. Boulevard. Downtown elite. Yeah, probably we have the we've got the trailer. If Chris Chris uh, would you like know. to see the trailer. Yes, we can do that. We can, like after Chris is back. I think she's yeah, too here or something. Um so we can, yeah, as a closing, we could just watch the trailer so that mm -hmm. you get a closer idea of you know what does what does that entail? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else? Any more thoughts? Yes. Oh, so is Lynn, Lynn left. Oh, that's great. Okay, try it. Oh, oh. Dr. Zhu can do yeah. it for you. What would they in China show me? Uh, in China, what time can you show me? It has to gain a full one, but you know, uh, through the Chinese, maybe, uh, I don't know, the one more here to She was asking when this film could be viewed in China in cinemas. I think it, they have to gain the approval through the Chinese Ministry of what movie industry. I showed mine and that's the time from China. Huh? So there you go. So it's yeah, possible. Well, you guys got need to go. Go on. Okay. I was able to, to show it. I don't know what we. I don't. Oh yes. Call that, any. That that's very limited, Marilyn. Uh -huh. Limited. Not in a theater. Yeah. Not in the theater. Okay. Okay. You know, charging you know, mm -hmm. same tickets. I see. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. I was curious. As, well, as private. As private. Private. Yeah. Private. Of course, is screening. You know. Private screening. Private screening. But I was also curious, uh, did anybody say anything about the movie, your movie? I, I watched your movie through your course, you know, I like censor. I watched, oh, great. But I don't know whether in Shanghai was there anyone who was uh, raising any like a skeptical questions. I didn't hear any. OK, good. But you know, good. we incorporate skepticism into the movie. So when you say they're all one voice, yeah. Yeah. we had Michael Shermer, yeah. who's, you know, quite the materialist. and. Yeah. Um, I was asking him what his thoughts were about life after yeah, good. And, yeah. you know, and he just was like, absolutely not. And then the irony of that is, so he was the science editor. He may still be uh, at Scientific American. He does the final word in Scientific American magazine. Anyway, um, he got married shortly after I had interviewed him. And... Um, so he they described what happened and he actually wrote a little column in scientific american that his wife had been given a radio by her grandfather 
and he was deceased. And Michael, being kind of electronically oriented, tried to fix the radio and he could never get it to work. So he just put it into a drawer and they went into their living room and they had the wedding. And about, you know, two thirds of the way through the wedding, this music started. And um, everybody was like, and so they ran in to see, and lo and behold, this radio had kicked on. Well, so Michael writes about this in Scientific American. You know, he is like the head of science, skeptic, the skeptic magazine, skeptic journal. Okay. It's kind of, you know, the, the archetype of that. And um, anyway, he, he was like, hmm, you know, this is really interesting because I know that it wasn't working before and then all of a sudden it's working. And he got such pushback by uh, his readers who want him to stay skeptical do not want him to buy into any of this woo-woo stuff. And so he had to reverse his position and write another column that said, well, you know, it probably wasn't anything. <laughs> and, uh, and when I was interviewing him also, I said, well, have you ever had any experiences? And he said, um, well, you know, everybody has these things. Like sometimes after my mother died, I heard her voice. And you could just see my face. I'm like, ah. Michael Shermer's confessing to hearing spirits. And then he's like, oh, no, no, it's not really anything. You know. But I think that helped us, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, by having that voice included yeah. in it. Include, it has some skeptical voice mm -hmm. to be included, uh, really to be very fair and open. <laughs> yeah, so, but I mean, there's an intellectual part to that, right? So that that then when you, when you um, explore this area from that perspective it becomes more intellectual whereas whether you're when you're using something like and i feel like you're doing an immersive experience you're calling in the people into a state of absorption and you're leaving the mind behind yeah. Right. So like when, you know, we were doing psychomantium and working with that, that was the approach too, right? So this idea of calling people in and into this immersive state that then becomes a whole absorption, then you can have the intellectual dialogue before or after, like we were discussing like it's a possibility right you go to different places and you have a different conversation like here what is it like for you know the u.s culturally or if you are you know in the middle east what is it like culturally over there and or you go to china you have the same type of conversation uh and we know that dr zu could lead that very well um and so the, this idea there, but with the movie itself, it seems to me like what your intention was, was to call in and bring in a state of absorption and to communicate through that. Yes. This is the same sense of by that time I'm going to address this. Yes. But to me, the, the experience is free. Me, you in the field. Yes. You look at the movie, there is the movie, there is you and there is the field that the movie creates. Right. And you enter these yes. to get. Yes. You not you don't get. You just look and uh, watch a movie. Yes. But to be transformative, the movie or the therapy, because they say you can. That's you right. Can, you can ship the the movie to the session therapy therapeutic yes. session. Yes. The same. The therapist should create a field where the client enter in this absorption absorption and then you therapist when you end the session yes you are in it also as well as yeah. you said about it because field. you're in the field too because you are included in what is emerging right yeah. so this idea it's quite different it's more like you know like you're saying like it's more like artwork right so where you you're 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 almost asking your public to leave behind the mind and just come in and it's um, that, you know, this is a healing experience. And by all means, you know, with all those titles, we can have this conversation <laughs> before and after, like, what is your experience? You know, what are you expecting going in? 
to this type of experience, like you would expect it going into therapy too, right? Like there's like, I want to go in and I want to have a certain experience. I want to be healed. I'm paying for that. So um, it's different than saying we're going to have, uh, you know, a, like we're going to think about is this, does this work in this way? Like, where is that voice? Like, and then bringing in the field because somewhere you're always touching on that, right? Like you cannot help but do that somewhere. Um, and whether it's little moments, snippets, or whether well, you're- A discussion question. Or discussion I would encourage questions. you to think about that, that like feeding good. some questions and and then see, and even having some little breakouts where people can discuss, because then they can go deeper into what their takeaway yeah. is of it. I found that really, really. Bless you. Bless you. That just <laughs> riveting. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, something that draws them into the conversation, whether it's from feeling like I really felt moved or transformed by that, or, you know, whether it's more an intellectual conversation. My guess is you have a, a capacity to weave all that together. Yes. And the movie, don't think I forgot about you in the Psychomantium study, because we're just about to start study two. And I'm going to be intelligent. Okay, so Tammy had a, another question. Yeah, I'm just curious, how did the movie transform you? Pierluigi. Uh, yes. Pierluigi. Create a field of incessant transformation. I, I, I think that this movie, like uh, the river, the Ganga, is a, a, a river that flows and asks you to flow with that. So, I, I speak to you about uh, the conference. To me, that process of the, the movie started one year before the conference. When I decided to do the conference, I entered in these flow states, say, where I, we organized this conference with 450 people from 40 countries. But this happens with no, with any trouble with any and uh, then the conference and the movie is the same flow of this uh, subtle transformation and integral transformation so i would say that this uh, is part of uh, a process of transformation i am living in this two years I, wow. feel, I feel that everything is going uh, in the right place, you know, with no effort. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's big. Yeah. Well, I was thinking to answer your question. If you ask me, mm -hmm. well, I thought I was going to answer for Luigi, Pier Luigi, but I stopped, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So she was she was already transformed mm -hmm. before the fuel. Transformation needs to be happening every time or once forever. It's another question. Or 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 are you alluding to the fact that our brain is actually or our physical beingness yeah, is a little bit late on the update, mm -hmm. right? So <laughs> everything happens to us later than when it actually occurs and then we pick up on it are you kind of thinking of that there are, this is one of the ways there are many ways to approach this question again if, if we really <laughs> let's not go there but then, then i also wanted to i wanted to remind pia you know when you are have your narration of transformation of the masses of the conference i think you have to be careful i would you i would just expect you to say I was being transformed and I felt like that, that, that. because we really can't represent everybody. Four hundred people. Are they were they really feeling the way that you were feeling? I don't know. I was there, I might feel very different. Yeah, yeah, of course. Place. Yeah. Right, right. 
So uh, this is why sometimes transpersonal is kind of being, uh, is get, getting some criticism because we are flying over, we are really losing the boundary. Yeah. We are representing, we think, or somebody thinks he is representing everybody, he is the universe. Personally, okay. But when it's related to other people, do they really agree that they are included or they are being represented? I, I don't think, I think I, I'm a little skeptical here. You, you know, so what strikes me is, is when, you know, when we had, uh, when we've had our discussion before about immersion and absorption, you can only invite somebody in, yes. right? So you invite people to into an immersive immersion experience whatever it is or if you do it with virtual reality then you have that invitation or you do it like we have um we have an experience here by one of our alums about a rebirthing process that is a chamber that you go into where you re-experience your time in the womb and that's a very immersive experience Right. So are people going to get absorbed by that or not? Is it going to work or not? We don't know. Right. That's why there is a absorption scale. So we we'll give them that um, and we see, is there a change? Is there not a change? Right. So, I mean, I agree with you. We can't guarantee this. I, so I, I mean, I, I think you have an invitation out, Pierre Luigi, is the way I understand it. It's like, come join, join my party. <laughs> this is this is the party. Yeah, this is the experience. Come join. And some people will feel and some people will not. I didn't use it uh, to say no but from for myself, but also from my students or for everyone. I don't have any project for the people. I don't have any project for my client. I have any project for, for example, the people attending the conference. Uh, my focus is on try to respect the law of uh, letting the process advance. Uh -huh. okay. Create the condition because the process happens in harmony and resonance. So and you let go of totally. get what they have to, to get. Mm -hmm. But if you create a field that is a field of <laughs> any person can get their own process of transformation and of harmony. Yes, we always are in transformation, of course, but there are some for example, everything is transformation, but the fall, the spring, the winter, and the summer are different level of transformation. When summer happens, we can say summer. When winter happens, we can say winter. This is the transformation, but there is some leap, some uh, leap of transformation, but you can realize that the context change. So there is someone, uh, I guess, is uh, Amit Gosvani, they speak yeah, yeah. about, speak about uh, two levels of creativity or transformation, contextual or fundamental. We can, we can transform ourselves here moving in this room. Contextual. Or we can go to downtown and there is another transformation. I came from Italy, yeah, there is yeah. another transformation. So there are transformation ever, but there are steps of transformation also that we can recognize mm -hmm. in so, other level of transformation. The same for the conference. You, the, of course, the people that organize something, that do a movie, that organize a conference, put his own intent, but his own intent should be for himself or for the relationship with the with the, the, the self, not for you, for you, for you. Mm. Any people that enter in that field as his own transformation, depending on how they relate with what we are offering. Mm. I don't I don't see the, the point that uh, uh, 
any person have to have your own, your the same experience that you have. And just well, offer yeah. an opportunity. Yeah. And each of us take the responsibility. But there is a difference in creating an harmonic field or creating a disharmonic field. Mm -hmm. They create an harmonic that facilitates the transformation and the understanding or the absorption or create something that yes. creates a problem instead of facilitating. I, I understand. You know, of course, this is not a, not a forum for you know, refine a discussion about transformation, at least transformation if uh, in psychology transpersonal transformation at the state level or at the street at the trade level trade state or trade you know yeah it's such a so if the transformation from you know here to los angeles maybe that's just the momentary transformation it's just change yes. it's not a transformation sure. but transformation uh, my understanding is really radical trans radical change it's going to result in you know long-term behavior and thinking. Or to use uh, Maslow's word, it's kind of pla plateau, peak, plateau experience, not peak experience. Yes, of course. So uh, going up or waking up. Yeah. With it. So that's why I was trying to answer the you know, Shia Luigi was already transformed. There's no more need to, for transformation, no, no need for another transformation. Uh, of course, I need to. Ask your permission. Is that all? Is that all, is that true or not? You're yeah. It's like transforming. <laughs> okay, you guys. I, I, yeah, you want it. I'm gonna make it more informal now. Um, yes, please. I was just <clears throat> gonna reflect back and ask if what I'm hearing sounds like what you're expressing here, but it sounds to me like you're in this transpersonal space, even in sharing this, that yes. there's a surrender to continuing to be in the flow and no, without an attempt to push or yeah. shape how it's received, but simply to the film festivals you're invited to or that accept and those that are attracted to the field or the people that are meant to be there and there's no need to force or push or create the experience, but simply to allow it. In the story I, I told in, in the movie about out of the cave, and at the end, uh, the director asked to me, but okay, now we have to say something that the people can say <laughs> something. So Take I away. reduced it. Conclusion. <laughs> Disappear, stay, and become. Disappear to yourself. Stay in the process and become the process. This oh, uh, history world is uh, oh, that's gorgeous. the essence of the movie also. The yeah, final that's of the exactly movie. what you're saying. Right? Stay, Stay become. and become. Mm -hmm. Disappear is means losing your ego. Losing your ego. Yes. Understand there. Stay and come in out. The and like, okay, come out to serve. Say thank you. Shall we say thank that's you? That. If we can see that the, the trailer is very, he did incredible also with the trailer. You see the trailer and say, I want to watch it. So we're going to see the trailer now, but we want to say okay. thank you. Thank you. This is wonderful for you guys sharing. Much, much appreciate you coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. Process and and we're going to watch the trailer.